Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to crochet this little cardi coat. I have three here, three different sizes made. Uh, so this is the smallest size, this is the 9 to 12 months. And I used my yarn scraps for this, you can see I have been changing colors every row, so that can be done easily. You can see this is just a two row repeat, two different row repeat, because uh, this is the front and back post double crochets and this is double crochets and half double crochets uh, but it's only two rows that repeat all the time and as you can see it looks like this and the back is just like that it's really really nice to touch very soft so this is the smallest size that I have to show you and this is the size up this is for a one-year-old uh, as you can see, I did not do any color changes here. This is how the yarn goes. I have a little pocket for it here, but um, I just didn't have the chance to put it on yet. So I will be using uh, the same yarn for this video, only in a different color. As you can see, it is really fun to make and looks really quite nice. And my very last one, so this is a 18 month to two years old uh, so and you can see I did three color changes I kept the three colors throughout so it's really fun to make it's really cute and uh, it's kind of a uh, really quick to make as well and easy so if I got you interested in this let's go and see what we're gonna need and we can start making it so these are some of the things that we are going to need. So we're going to need four or five buttons. I have not decided which ones I am going to use yet. Uh, maybe I'll get the even different ones. Depending on, you know, when I have it done, whatever my vision is for the buttons. Uh, scissors, at least six stitch markers and a measuring tape. This is very important. Without the measuring tape, we will not be able to do this project. Okay. Uh, and then it is yarn so I will be using this Jarbo cookie from Hobie Yarns I love the colors uh, I am going to call this cardi coat a fall cardi so these colors look perfect for it and I have two now the one the light gray one that you have seen it is for age one to one and a half years old I have used just over 200 grams. Uh, one of these is 200, so I have two because I will be making a bigger one. So up to a year, it's about 200 grams of yarn. Over that, you are gonna need more. Uh, so these are my, this is my yarn, and it is, I forgot to say, it is lightweight free, I think. Well, it is DK, DK weight. And it has about 600 meters in 200 grams and I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook for it. If somebody wants a color, the color is 46216. I think it's called candy. Uh, so, yarn and then like I said, 4.5 millimeter hook and I have a 4 millimeter hook for me as well. Uh, the smaller hook I will only use for the ends of the sleeve but if you don't have a smaller one uh, you can just make more decreases right here before the very last row on the second last row and then you won't need it uh, I might do it the same so I think uh, oh yes and we are gonna need some uh, needles for sewing in the buttons and for hiding uh, tails now the other thing that we are going to need so I have, so these are the yokes, I have them all figured out. We will just have to find out which neckline will be for us. And then the sizes. I will quickly go through them, uh, just in case you don't like mine, so you could go on uh, online and find your own ones. So what we're going to need is the head circumference. Then we're going to need the chest for the finished cardi, cardi coat, yoke height. Uh, then we are going to need sleeve length and upper sleeve. So these are the ones that we're going to need and I'm going to make a size 2 to 3 years this time. But it can be made uh, bigger or smaller if you 
use the measurements. Not, you don't have to use mine, remember? You can find your own ones uh, uh, or you can just measure the child. So I will be showing this throughout the video, uh, but I will post them on my Facebook page and if you want to have a good look. And uh, I think now we're ready to start. Okay, so if you have made um, something with me before, you know how it goes. We take the head circumference for any of the sizes that we are going to make it for. So I'm going to make it for two to three years. But it uh, starts exactly the same for every size. Uh, you can always write that down. So I will just write down that I'm making two to three years size. I'm going to write down the head circumference. So it is 50 centimeters for me. I'm going to write down... 50 and then what we're gonna do we're gonna minus about three centimeters from that i'm gonna have 47 so you should do exactly the same just minus three from uh, the head circumference that you are making the size for and i have 47 centimeters so this is plus minus for my starting chain this is the length of the starting chain and we're gonna have to match the length with an amount of chains so you see in the middle here in the yoke here these big numbers in the very middle is the amount of chain so I will be chaining I will be measuring my chain I know about the length of that chain and I will be see which of these numbers is the closest to my needed length uh, around the neckline I will show you all that right now okay so I'm gonna find my yarn somewhere right here. Oops. Okay, so make a slip knot and start chaining and count your chains. So, for example, as I am making a bigger size, so I'm gonna stop, let's say it's 55 chains and I'm gonna measure it. But if you're making smaller size, you should start with the very smallest amount of chains and then keep measuring it, which I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna start with 55 and I'll stop. 55, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and I'm going to keep chaining until I get to 55. Okay, so I have chained 55 like that and I'm going to measure, I remember, the length of the starting chain, about 47 centimeters for me. You might have a different number. I'm going to put my measuring tape at the very first chain, the very beginning, and I am just going to measure. So... If I, I'll, I'm going to give it just a tiny little pull, pull just to stretch it out. So I have about uh, 40 centimeters now. I need it to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to go for 61. So I have 55, uh, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. This is still probably going to be a little too short for me. I'm going to measure the same way again. And I have about, about 43 centimeters. I'm going to go a little bit bigger for 67 to get closer to my 47 centimeters. So 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67. I'm quite sure this should be okay for me. And again... If I give it a tiny little pull, um, just about 47, 48 centimeters in length now, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I just needed to find the closest number to my length of the chain. So have a look right here now. I'm going to show it closer. It will be on my Facebook page as well if somebody needs it. So remember the very middle number whichever is the closest to that length so i have 67 so i will be making this is going to be my neckline and the start of my yoke okay so if you need write that down uh, i'm just gonna uh 
lay let it lie here so you can see what I am doing so we don't need measuring tape anymore at the moment and we are going to start so whichever number you have made now we need to add one chain so add one and now we're gonna start in uh, from uh, the first double crochet will go into the third chain from the hook so I'm gonna yarn over and count down so chain one chain two and chain three and I'm gonna make a double crochet I'm gonna count those two chains that are in the very very beginning as one double crochet so I have one and two and according to my chart I have I need nine double crochets before my very first corner so I have two I go into the next chain <clears throat> I make three next chain four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The first part of the front is done. Now I have a corner. The corners will be um, exactly the same all the time so we are going to go into the next chain we're gonna make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet back into the same chain so for the rows of simple double crochet rows we have we do double crochets in the corner so a double crochet chain two double crochet then I have the over the shoulder part so I have as you can see 13 double crochets here so I'm gonna start in the next chain and I'm gonna start counting my 13 so one oops two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, okay, so nine, ten, eleven, 12 and 13 I just finished this part over the shoulder and I have my second corner now so in the next chain make a double crochet chain 2 and a double crochet back in there after that I have the back part so I have 19 double crochets from the sec next chain I start counting 1 two, three, and four, and I will keep going until I have 19 double crochets. Did my 19 double crochets, my third corner, into that next chain, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet back into the same chain. After that, again, 13 for the shoulder, one, two, three, and I keep going until I have 13. Done that, I am at my last corner. Into that next chain, I'm gonna make a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet back into the same chain. And if I have not made any mistakes and counted my starting chain correctly, I should have nine double crochets left or nine chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and 9. And we do not need this anymore. We can have a look. So this is how row number 1 looks like when it is finished. And now we can start on row number 2. Okay, so our rows will always start the same. We are going to chain one. We are going to turn around and we will make a one double crochet back into the same here uh, stitch that the chain one is coming out of. We don't count chain one as a stitch. This is a double crochet. So now what we are going to do is we're going to start doing our uh, front post and back post double crochets. The, the You see the stitch right here, so stitch number one, the second stitch, this is what we are going to start from that double crochet. And we're gonna make a back post double crochet, so we're gonna yarn over, and that we go in between the two stitches, right here. We kind of uh, hug the one, go behind it, like this, and we come out on the other side. Grab the yarn, Pull it out. You should have free hooks, uh, free loops on the hook, and we just make a normal double crochet. Go through two and go through two. So this is a back post double crochet. We will always start with the back post double crochet, and we yarn over, and the next double crochet from the previous row gets a front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. and a front post double crochet back post double crochet and front post just gonna keep uh, changing them for every double crochet from the previous row okay so as you can see I have two stitches left, which the last one is from the corner from the previous row. We're going to use both of them. This is just something that you should remember. So, front post, and we will always finish that very last one, the corner, double crochet, will get a back post, double crochet. If you are not getting a back post, double crochet right here, you have skipped something or made something uh, wrong so we will always finish here in a back post because it that's what is going to make so the front one will always have a row coming down and this one it's gonna have a row of um, front double crochets going down so this is how the row number one should look like it's a little bit hard to see but it's like that okay so now we make a corner as uh, the second row of every repeat is going to have half double crochets in the corner so you're gonna yarn over go into the very corner grab your yarn pull it out you have three loops yarn over and go through all three here then you're gonna chain two one and two and you make another half double crochet back into the same corner. So like this. So this uh, double crochet corner and a half double crochet corner like that. And then we keep going with half double crochets over the shoulder part. So just yarn over and make half double crochets all the way to the next corner. Just like that and keep going this part is done and I am at the corner again and I make half double crochet chain two and half double crochet back into the same space and this is the back so this is where we're gonna start our back post and front post double crochets again and we start with the very first stitch and make a back post double crochet and then we make a front post double crochet and a back post front post 
and back post and we keep going until we finish this back part so i am two double crochets away from finishing the back so the second last one is a front post double crochet and the very last one is a back post double crochet we start with a back post and we finish in the on the back post double crochet everywhere front and back then it's the corner and it is a half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet back into the same uh, space and we keep going with half double crochets over the shoulder i am at my very last corner as you can see right here make a half double crochet I'm gonna chain two and a half double crochet back into it and I start again as I always say start and finish with a back post double crochet like this so back post front post back post front post Again, back, front, back, and I'm just gonna uh, have a look right now. So I have, as you can see, two double crochets left and the chain two from the very first row. So we're only going to have this chain two only in the very first row. After that, we're always gonna have a stitch in the very back of it. So I make a front post and I finish with a back post double crochet like I said I start um, I start my uh, front and front and back posts with back post I finish with back post and that very last double crochet that we make into the very very top chain at this in this row is just to keep the uh, edges straight so we can uh, put a nice little edging and buttonholes nicely it will make it much nicer to us so a double crochet and this is our two rows done okay so i'm gonna show you the next two rows real quick because it's going to be repeat for the whole uh, yoke until we're finished and uh, until we are going to do our um we're gonna connect it so as i said we always start with chain one turn around and this row is simple double crochet row so find that very first stitch under that chain one and make a double crochet and keep going with double crochets into each stitch like this And then our last double crochet before we make the corner. Now this is a funny looking stitch. So we made a half double crochet. And if you can see right here, it's very blue. It sort of looks like that stitch is in the front. But we need to make that stitch uh, a double crochet in there. This is not the corner. This is still the stitch from the previous row. It's just when you make half double crochets, uh, your stitch kind of ends up in front of it a lot. So don't forget about that. And then we make a corner of double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet back in there. And then we keep going with double crochets until we reach the next corner. And again, I am just, just to finish that over the shoulder part and again have a look that this half double crochet has a stitch sort of in front of that don't forget this is this belongs to the to the side here you have not made a corner yet this is just one of the stitches and after that you make a double crochet chain two and a double 
crochet and you keep going with double crochets now I'm not gonna show any more of this row I'm just gonna uh, I'm slightly worried about this so those this from half double crochet so remember this is a stitch from this half double crochet and again this is the stitch from this half double crochet we have to make it before we make a corner this is not a corner yet this is just a normal stitch from the last row okay so <clears throat> hopefully you understand what I mean and we just keep going with double crochets until we reach the end okay so I am finishing my first row of my repeat so I have I have two stitches left stitch one and stitch two the very last stitch could be uh, looking a little bit small but um, don't worry you're not gonna miss it because if you if you look at like this you see you don't have a straight edge so that means you definitely have one more stitch in the very very end like that you can see it looks very very straight okay so repeat row number two we're gonna chain one we're gonna turn around and just remember this because from now on this is going to be our whole yoke so double crochet back into the same chain space and we start with back post double crochet so the first double crochet not counting that very very edge gets a back post double crochet then a front post double crochet back front back and front and we just need to keep going And like I said, remember that very, very last double crochet should always finish on the back post double crochet. And in the post uh, stitches row, the corner is half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet back into the same space. And then we keep going with half double crochets. Uh, this is where our sleeve is going to be or over the shoulder part so just half double crochets okay so corner again half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet back into the same space and starting the back of our cardi we start the first one with a back post double crochet back front back front and we just need to keep going until we get to the end of uh, of this row for the back finishing the back and two double crochets left the second last one is a front and the last one is a back post double crochet corner you get a half double crochet you're gonna chain two and you're gonna get a half double crochet and keep going with half double crochets last corner get a half double crochet chain two and a half double crochet and we start with back post double crochet front post and we just keep going
and the last double crochet, this one, right here, or the second last, gets a back post. And we finish with one double crochet into the very last stitch right here. So it should look like this. So when we are, uh, when we finish the repeat of the second row, we are looking at the inside of the cardigan. The outside is right here. So you will be able to see that there's a straight line of, it will look like a front post double crochet because we have turned our work around. So you, you're going to have a front post double crochet row or a line going all the way in the very, very front of the cardigan all the way down. So this is how it looks right now. Uh, we need to keep doing the repeats of these two rows until we get our yoke uh, big enough. Uh, now we will measure the yoke height right here on the corner, but if you are very impatient and you want to do it right now and you want to turn me off, just remember that we need to finish before we connect. The last row before connecting has to be a simple double crochet row. But I will come back once I have it done and then we will measure, we will see if we need to do more or less. Uh, but for now we just keep going and keep building up the yoke. Okay, so I have finished my yoke. Uh, I do not know how many rows I did. It does not matter how many rows you have done as well. We just need to meet the measurements to know that it will fit. So, which we start with... I'm just gonna lay that flat. It will be easier to measure like that. Okay. So, uh, starting with yoke. Yoke is the yoke height. So, if you look up uh, according to your size, this is the size that I am making. Yoke should be about 15 centimeters or a little bit bigger. So this number is the minimum that has to be. So uh, our armhole is not too close to the arm, so it has enough space for the child. So I have 15 centimeters. You could have something different. And now, if you remember, I have said before uh, that we need to finish on a simple double crochet row, just double crochets around. This is where we measure. It will just be this point it will be easier for me uh, to show the sleeves and everything the rest if we are all on the same row. So take your measuring tape. Just gonna leave that here for a while. Somebody needs to see if you, if you can see. And then we are going to measure from corner to the bottom of the corner. So I need 15 centimeters or a little bit more. Now have in mind that the next row that we are going to connect our yoke is going to add a tiny little bit more. So uh, a half double crochet worth of length to our yoke. So if I measure, you can see from one corner to the bottom I have 15 centimeters exactly. So once I connect I'm going to have about 16 or 16 and a little bit of extra, which is just fine. We just need to figure out that, uh, that the yoke height has to be uh, a minimum of these numbers here. And we have to be on a double crochet row. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to measure the back of the cardigan to make sure uh, or to figure out how many chains, if any, we have to do under the arms if we are at our chest measurement or we are a little bit away from it so do not pull on this because uh, the next row that we do with the front and back uh, back post double crochets it will uh, take it in a little bit so the double crochet rows is a little bit longer it has a bit more uh, freedom to move so don't pull on it just keep it as it is and then we are going to look up our chest for the finished cardigan or um, or yoke or whatever you call it. Okay, so look up your age. So I am at two to three years age and I have 60 centimeters 
all the way around the cardigan. As I am going to measure only a half, only the back part, I need to measure, uh, to look for the half of the measurement. So 60, I divide by two and I get 30 centimeters. So we measure, we measure from very, very here, from the very, very uh, start of the um, corner to the very, very start of the other corner, like that. So, like something like this. So I'm at about 28 and a half, 28 centimeters, if you can see. So this is right here, just to the very, very inside of that corner. So about 28 and a half. Something like that. Okay, so I am missing to my 30 centimeters, I'm missing about one and a half to two centimeters. I don't want to make it too small, so I'm happy to do uh, two centimeters just to be sure. So uh, I'm gonna measure out the row with th that is already made. I'm gonna just put that down, as you can see, in the beginning of one of the stitches and see how many stitches I can fit into this. Uh, two centimeters. So I have stitch one, stitch number two is inside in between these two, and stitch number three. Three stitches fit into my two centimeters. That means I'm going to have three chains under one underarm and three under the other one. So you might have more or less, so no less than one. We, we still have to, to have one on the bottom anyway. And we can uh, keep on uh, connecting now. I think I think I did not forget anything. Okay, so uh, get yourself to that uh, very corner. So I'm gonna make my last back pose double crochet right there. So it doesn't really now from now on it doesn't matter what uh, front or pose double crochet is where. We only care that we start and finish with the back post double crochet. Now, this is, it does not matter now anymore. Okay, so into the very corner, we make a half double crochet like this, and then we chain whatever we need to chain. So I have to chain three, one, two, and three, and then I'm gonna find that other corner on the other side of the armhole or the, yes, or the sleeve or whatever it's going to be. So I'm gonna put in a half double crochet and I'm gonna start my back post, front post uh, double crochets until I get to the other side. So just like that. And just keep going. At the other side, it's exactly the same. My last one, I end up on back post and I make a half double crochet into the corner. I'm gonna do my chains, one, two, and three. I'm gonna find the other side of the other corner. I'm gonna make a half double crochet and I'll just start with back post. Back post, front post, And I'm just gonna go do that till the end of this row. Okay, so done that. This is connected. We have our sleeves and everything. So uh, next thing is we are going to start the bottom part here and we start increasing straight away. Now there is no, there are no numbers for increasing. What I mean is, we're not gonna count where we do the do the increases. We're just gonna um, mark them, uh, just just about where it should be. Okay, so I'm gonna have six increases. You can do more. It's no problem. We can have eight or ten, depending on what kind of uh, bottom you want. I just want it flaring out a tiny little bit. Uh, so six increases in every. Uh, 
uh, double crochet row will be just fine. Like I said, at any point you can start with six and then at any point where you feel that you want a uh, bigger bottom, like flaring out more, you can start doing uh, more increases. So, okay, so as I'm going to do six, I just lay it flat. And now remember, I'm going to do this before starting every uh, double crochet row for the whole bottom. So this is the back and this is about the half of my cardigan. So I'm going to do three increases on one side and three increases on that side. I just need to mark them uh, about the same uh, distance in between. It doesn't have to be very accurate. So the first marker I'm going to put is in the middle of that uh, front somewhere right here the other one I'm gonna put straight under the armhole and the third one so as it is this is the half of my cardigan in this half somewhere let's see right here like I said it does not have to be accurate it does not have to have uh, enough uh, the same amount of stitches in between it does not matter you will not be able to see any of this and exactly the same on this side so uh, somewhere in the front, one under the arm, and one, so this is the half, so here somewhere, like that. And I'm going to do this every time. Now, if you want to make uh, more increases, so, so let's say eight, so you're going to have a half of the cardigan like this, just put your hand, it will be easier to see. And then place four markers in that side, so it would be perhaps one, two, three and four just as long as they are not in one spot all of them and they're uh, the same amount on both sides of the cardigan you will be fine okay so we have it marked and we are just gonna have to keep going so I am we are sorry on double crochet rows so we just need to do this Keep going with double crochets until we get to our marker. So I am here, I'm going to take that out. And in that stitch that was marked, I'm just going to put two double crochets in that same stitch. So one and then the second one back into the same stitch so this is one increase and uh, uh, just in case you want to do even more de decreases or uh, sorry increases or less uh, it just has to be an even number of them so six eight ten um, four twelve whatever you feel like okay so keep going with double crochets And I am at the armhole. So every chain gets a stitch. So this is still the stitch from the half double crochet. It's, uh, remember those are the funny ones that I said they are really far in front. So this is that. And then chain number one. You need to go into the chain, not around it because we're gonna need uh, to use the leftover from that chain for the sleeve then I have a marked stitch I'm gonna do two double crochets here one and two into the same and then my third chain like that. and then I'm just gonna keep going uh, making double crochets uh, so now you know how what to do in this row so we just keep going stop at the marker two double crochets in that stitch and I'm gonna meet you at the end here okay and so I have to do a front post and back post double crochet row now so I'm going to start with chain one I'm gonna turn around and make a double crochet back into the same chain space and start with a back post double crochet And these two rows are now going to be the repeat uh, of the whole bottom part. 
So there's a few more things that I need to mention just in case uh, if you run into a few difficulties. Uh, but I sort of I need to be in the at the end of this row to show that. Uh, so just keep going. Now the whole row gets front and post uh, back double crochets and I'm going to meet you uh, at the other end. Okay, so I'm finishing this row and we should finish it with a back post double crochet in in this uh, over this double crochet right here and then a simple double crochet into the very last stitch so if you look on the good side of the cardigan let me get a little bit more light like this so you're always going to have this one line of front post double crochet is going all the way around without any breaks yeah just straight nice line now uh, things happen and sometimes you don't end up at the end with a back post double crochet sometimes uh, if you got your um, count your stitch count wrong or something you could end up like this with a front post double crochet and then a double crochet at the end now this will be really easy to see now there's First thing that you have to do once you uh, end up on the wrong uh, post stitch is you have to look through your last row uh, because this is the most common mistake uh, and see if you have done, let's say it's kind of a hard to see because my yarn is very colorful, but these two are two front post double crochets in a row. So I let's say I made a mistake and I forgot to do a back post double crochet and I just did two front post double crochets. Then you need to fix that because this um, in a one color yarn this would be very very noticeable. You will not be really able to see it on this right here. So you would go back and you would change how it has to be. Now the other way is if you cannot see what the problem is and you are still not ending up on the correct uh, post stitch. Now what you can do then is you don't have to pull that all out and start all over again. What you can do is so you let's say you make a I made a front post double crochet right here and I know that I'm going to end up wrong in the front then I'm just gonna go and make over the same double crochet I'm gonna make a back post double crochet so I'm using the same uh, double crochet twice and you will not be able to see the difference you will not be able to see uh, what is where and how and then you just uh, need to keep going as it should be so front back front and you should end up correctly in the front now this does happen uh, and I end up doing that a couple of times as well I uh, just don't know um, sometimes I just forget to make an increase although I have my uh, markers and I'm most uh, of the time when I crochet I watch a movie or, or something and then I just take the marker out and I just forget to put in the second double crochet in it but it's it's never a problem as long as you end up with front and you finish with the front uh, you will be fine okay so at this point we are just gonna keep going uh, the same uh, two rows or are uh, until we get to the bottom uh, now remember again after a front and back post double crochet row you mark your stitches again where you're gonna do the increases let's say so half that way one under the arm and one well I haven't finished that I need to fix that um, somewhere in the middle of the front right here and then the other side so half of that front sorry it's getting really cloudy outside and i am um i always crochet in natural light so it's kind of a swapping around getting darker or lighter so one two and the third one in somewhere in this side of the back and again double crochets back post front post double crochets and we keep 
uh, going. Now, how long to make it? This is what I get asked all the time. There's no such thing as this long or that long. It's really up to you whatever length you like to make. Now, I personally do this. I look up the sleeve length. Now, because we when we will be making uh, sleeves, we will be measuring them from the bottom of the armhole. Uh, and I look up the sleeve length. So let's say it is 22 centimeters for me. So from measuring from here, my sleeve is going to be 22 centimeters long. So what I do, I make my skirt uh, measuring from the same uh, place. I make 22 centimeters long or the same length as my sleeve. Plus, I add about five to seven, five, seven, eight centimeters. Uh, so it's, it's just visually, uh, you get the bottom part uh, about that much longer than your sleeve. So let's say if my sleeve is 22 centimeters, I'm going to make 22 plus uh, maybe, uh, let's say seven. So from measuring from here, I'm going to have 29 or 30 or somewhere around there. We'll see how the, the rows are matching out for me. But for now on, so this is the end of part one. We just keep going. We keep uh, making the bottom. And I will see you in the next part, which will be very, very soon. I am planning to uh, do the second part uh, tomorrow in the morning. So if you're really watching this uh, today when I have posted it, so you're going to have to be a little bit patient. It's just because I have been asked not to make super long videos because people find it difficult uh, to find where they left off because if it's uh, like a two hour video or something so I'm gonna put this into two parts and this is the end of part one and I'm gonna see you in part two when we have the bottom aid and we will have the edging left and the sleeves so bye for now